Give us 60 minutes and we'll give you Nelson Radio every Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. on KTLK AM 1150. With 29 years in the mortgage business and an array of top-level guests visiting the show, Nelson is in a unique position to bring you cutting-edge information on real estate, business, finance, and law. If you have any questions for Nelson or any of his guests, give him a call at 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or check him out online at nelsonradio.com. Nelson Radio. KTLK AM 1150, always a treat to be back with you. And of course, back with my co-host, real estate expert, Bram Klein from Keller Williams Realty. Thanks for being with me. Thanks, Nelson. Glad to be back in the program and provide some value and direction. Well, wow, that's what exactly we're going to do. It's going to be a good program. I'm glad you mentioned that because we're looking at values today. That's going to be the theme that resonates throughout our show. And not just the value of real estate. But looking at values, those core conventions that drive us in our different business practices and, and really define who we are as we, uh, as we operate our businesses. So values is the theme. And Bram and I are going to be covering the Southland in our second segment. We're going to segue over to uh, Century 21 Masters and Alexander Via and get a read on really some different aspects of what's taking place in the real estate market as it's morphed a little bit over the summer months. And then we're going to introduce to you Operation Homefront, which is an incredible organization organization and I'm going to tease you with this it's taking something bad and turning it to good and we'll see how that unfolds with Operation Homefront and then in our coaches corner Dave Austin from Extreme Focus is going to do exactly that coach us on, on performance and, and uh, how we can just be better performers and then as always finishing our program Bram with Stuff the Experts one of my favorite uh, segments of the show where we're answering listener questions and addressing some of the issues that people are wrestling with out there in the marketplace. We're broadcasting from the Lion Air Museum at John Wayne Airport and as always it's an incredible testimony and presentation of vintage aircraft from World War II through the Korean War conflict and uh, they have as a special exhibition you need to get down here because not only are there eight or nine different vintage aircraft that are just spectacular, they're stunning, but General Lyon is also presenting half a dozen of his woodies uh, from his car collection. Beautiful collection, and I like how the machine gun over here is facing our direction. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're at the, at the, at the, uh, the gun turret backside of the Fuddy Daddy, and yeah, all, uh, all guns awesome. are pointed towards you. How do you I like that? I think I can move my chair a little bit. <laughs> there you have it. So let's open up with Street Noise, brought to you by SATSE from the Pacific Institute and Changing a Generation, training business and government leaders around the world. We want you to call us at any time during our show, 888-888-2136, that's triple. 888-2136, 888 or you can click through at nelsonradio.com. And I wanted to brand just to pitch and pass here on a couple of headlines that I saw this week and get your thoughts. I saw out of Bloomberg a headline talking about wealthy Americans benefiting from banks hunting now jumbo loans. They're looking to lend jumbo money. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, obviously the banks have a lot of money to lend. Uh, they've got the jumbos are right now in line with conforming rates. If you can correct me on that, or if that's they're pretty right close, which yeah. is unusual. Usually the lower loan amounts are at a more aggressive interest rate, but we're seeing those two marketplaces butt up against each other and rates virtually the same. You know, with home prices along the coast being up in those two, three, four, five plus million dollar ranges, those those jumbos definitely come in handy. Well, and it's and it's interesting because. The, the common cry that I hear is, is, Nelson, is anybody lending? Do banks actually want to lend money? And certainly the jumbo home buyers out there, the luxury market, have asked me that question. And, and I said the banking industry has morphed, the lending industry has morphed into this category of lending money to people that actually pay it back. Crazy thinking, right? <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Yeah, so, all right, check this out from the Wall Street Journal. Planning around an impulsive big home buy. And I saw this article, and, and I guess it's, I wanted to ask you about this and see if you've seen this kind of uh, testimonial, but this particular article is uh, about a, a woman that was coming out of a divorce and was coached into getting into this real estate market and kind of in that groundswell of gotta, gotta, gotta purchased a $1.8 million home, and then after closing had that deer in headlights look of, how do I afford this? What am I doing? 
Well, I think the article continues. It says she bought a $1.8 million home near her teenage son's school to be close to the school. So I'm thinking, why not just buy a townhome maybe down the street and maybe buy a Porsche and then just drive the Porsche up to the school and maybe park on the grass? <laughs> and that might make a better impression than going back into you know, the mistakes that we made in the last couple of years about over over purchasing and uh, and uh, well, and I think that's too much on. Yeah, and I think that's something that we have to be mindful for, and that's uh, a common concern is we see confidence growing. We've obviously seen this rush back to real estate, a transition just in the last 24 months, I believe, uh, from something that you should get rid of to something you can't live without. And uh, that exuberance, uh, going back to some of Greenspan's uh, common comments, that exuberance, although it's good for uh, creating momentum in the market, we've got to look at sustainability. We've got to look at, is it a healthy exuberance? And not slip back into people reaching just to an exit strategy of, of okay, I, can, I can't afford this home, but if I somehow, some way hold on to it for 36 months, I can get out and make a profit. Right, right. Yeah, no, it's a, it's, it's a problem that we're seeing, but we want to learn from our mistakes from the past and, uh, and move forward. And, you know, the $1.8 million home, I'm sure she could invest that a little bit better. So I know she talked to a financial advisor. She might want to talk to a, maybe a, uh, just a, Talk life to Graham coach. Klein. Or a life coach or something like that. <laughs> yeah, maybe That's a better so. direction to go. So check this out. Out of the LA Times, we've seen this uh, in June and again following the 4th of July. On July 5th, when business reopened, there was a very sharp reaction in the mortgage rates. And we've seen interest rates pop up. And I wanted to ask you the question, is a rise in interest rates, is that going to curb our activity? Yeah, sure. I mean, high rates, they have an instant effect on family budgets, you know? So, uh, Really now is the time, it's a great time to buy a house, but it's also a time to sit down with your mortgage professional and make sure that you know as interest rates rise, you can still afford to buy a house and keep within your budget. And I think that it's a perspective issue for me. People talk about, you know, I always marvel if I announce uh, that interest rates have moved from 3.7 to 4% in a, a quick reaction, a conversational reaction of, oh, rates are bad. And I look at that and I, now I came into the marketplace, what, 200 years ago when, when interest rates were in the 18s. Right. And right. so I have that kind of per, uh, perspective. But bottom line, if interest rates are in the threes, the fours, the fives, maybe even the sixes, they're all still good interest These rates. These are exceptional rates for an exceptional time. It's, again, it's a great time to buy a house. Um, you know, when I was a young kid and you were probably 30, 40 years already in the business. Um, you're right, rates were in those 18s, 19s, 20s, and so forth. Look at that, your mic just went off. <laughs> uh, hello? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great insight. I'm with Bram Klein with Keller Williams in uh, Mission Viejo. Uh, this is our street noise segment brought to you by Saitsi from the Pacific Institute and Changing a Generation. Saitsi is an unbelievable woman that has value-based businesses that train up business leaders and also her Changing a Generation platform is a platform uh, on the worldwide front that's trying to curb and eventually eliminate human trafficking. So it's an unbelievable cause and certainly want to draw attention to her efforts. You can reach us direct, 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136 or click through to nelsonradio.com. Bram and I will be right back looking at values today. Stay with us. Nelson is a licensed lender under the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 331060. This is Nelson from Nelson Radio, and it's important that we talk about a very serious issue. We had bad lending practices that led to the mortgage meltdown, but now we've got the challenge of deplorable customer service coming out of the meltdown. Bottom line, getting a new loan can be like pulling teeth without Novocaine. I've got the solution. Academy Mortgage and my team are injecting into the industry real performance and real accountability. Here are the facts. Appraisals in less than a week. Rate guarantees that can improve if the market goes down. Purchase transactions with our market-exclusive close-on-time guarantees and refinance transactions in as little as 30 days. Who would have thunk? Guaranteed rates and guaranteed performance from your mortgage lender. Call me, Nelson, an accountable loan expert for nearly three decades, direct at 888 2136 That's Nelson at 888 2136 888 or at strongcreditrewards.com.